So, what's going on? What's up with Jay? So, like I said, I was going to come back and discuss one of the proteins that I think is no pretty good, and the taste is you know, it's great. Now, this right here is a uh, whey product. Um, it's performance whey, and it's by Cellucor. Okay. Now, one of the big things about it that it has a great taste this is a uh, peanut butter and marshmallow all right so you can't see that see that all right but that's all good but this is the main thing is the nutrition factors all right so i'm gonna put a shot in here and um hope you don't get the glare but um this is what you need to pay attention to right here all of this and the thing is this tells you what type of protein you have um got the calories you want to pay attention to it. saturated fats um, trans fats cholesterol sodium and the, the sugars and on top of the protein and the reason I say that because you know a lot of us have high blood pressure um, borderline some of you diabetic all that stuff comes into factor when you do that so you don't want one that's you know high in cholesterol things is you want to make sure you check for the nutrition facts all right so this is the information on the back side that a lot of people don't know how to read so this is what we're going over now and the thing is because you have your calories um trans fats saturated fats cholesterol sugars sodium all this is involved in this so you want to make sure that you're picking the right one so if you're trying to tone up, lean out, what we call we call it, you don't want one that's uh, high in calories, all right? So like this one, it's only 130 calories, two scoops, all right? And that's another thing, pay attention to the scoops because if it says one scoop at 130 calories, then if you double it, then that's 260, all right? So it's just simple math. Um, everything they're giving you is based on the calories I'm sorry on the scoops so you want to make sure that you're looking at everything the carbohydrates and the carbs is you know that's what's gonna put the weight on so if you sitting here and it says carbs 200 which I hope yeah, you don't have a lot of carbs that. going in so it, even with calories if it's saying 1100 calories per drink that's a lot of calories so that's if you're trying to gain weight, you know. So everybody has their own preference. I don't care what you want to do. I don't care if you want to, you know. It shouldn't bother no one else what you want to do. But you need to know what you're doing. So like a lot of people say they gain weight when they were trying to lose weight. And I said, did you look at the type of protein you have? And they didn't know how much protein should I take? How much should I drink? How much should I do? And the thing is, if you're trying to lose weight and your protein states that you have 1100 calories per drink, you're not gonna lose weight, you're gonna gain weight. So, the lower the calories and the carbs is what you need to be looking for in your protein shakes. So, don't get a shake that, you know, says it's a weight gainer and think you're gonna lose weight. The thing is, you need to make sure you're getting the right one. Um, I uh, had a friend who, you know, a child wanted to gain some weight, you know, he was doing some things, so I told her a certain type of protein to get. The brand really didn't matter. I had to make sure he ate three meals plus those two drinks a day, and he gained the weight. He gained about 10 pounds he needed, 10, 15 pounds he needed. So that's the type of thing you have to do. And then sometimes, you know, you get someone that's a little ignorant. They think protein shakes are steroids. It's not roids, it's protein. Um, some people think, especially women, if I take protein, then I'm going to look like a man. No, you're not going to look like a man. But it will help you lean out and show more muscle tone. Which means you have the women that have the flabby arm. When you work out, it'll help tighten that up. All right? If you got flabby meat on you, it helps tighten that up. So, But you have to take the supplements and not only, you know, after your workouts, don't just drink it all out. You know, you can't just 
drink this. Yeah, you just look sloppy if you just drink it and sit around. But the main thing is you can't drink enough protein to get you where you want to go. So you have to eat right. That's why they say eat right and work out. So you have to eat lean meats, your proteins. Look up your proteins that you need to eat daily. That's what you need to do. A lot of guys sit around and just drink shakes all day. And then they looking all crazy, thinking they big and buff. But let's explore the proteins a little better so you will understand. Um, I'm going to hit on some more products. You know, you got some aminos, um, you know, some creatine and certain things that people seem to like. Um, everything doesn't go with everyone. So, but let's hit on this stuff, um, um, some other products. And like I said, the whole thing is about the taste. So we want to make sure we're doing the things safe for people. So we're going to hit on these things. And the only reason to be able to keep up is the red button. Subscribe so you can keep up with the weekly things that we talk about with the, you know, the health and fitness. And we'll discuss, like I said, the main thing is that nutrition facts and how to read it. So let's go get at it. Holla at me. Jay out. Peace.